I look at my parents, uh, they have another legendary love. And, 51 you know, years together, 52. 51 yeah. years. And it's interesting because roles change. And my mother was, you know, very, uh, she was old fashioned in her values. My mom stayed home. She took care of the family. She took care of my father. And my dad took care of the family and her in different ways. One, not greater or less, just different, different qualities, different puzzle pieces, different puzzle pieces, because mine can compare. Well, I'm doing this, you're doing that. I look at them and it's so stunning. And I also observe at this stage, roles are changing you know, different health concerns and so forth. And I see my beautiful father taking care of my mom. It's so poignant, it's so stunning. And he holds space for her and he, you know, he takes care of all the supplements and he'll do things in the kitchen. He's doing freaking laundry. I mean, never in my wildest dreams. And so like, sometimes we prejudge life. We prejudge each other. And what, it's certainly been my experience, even with Tony and I, Cycles change, seasons offer different gifts, roles change and they complement and there are at times imbalances naturally. Sometimes one in the relationship might be more extension, it might, be, it might appear on the surface that they're doing more or giving more. Just give it time. Give it time, a different season, a different context, a different moment and life invites us into a new space that there's this rising and falling and offering and giving and loving and it's so beautiful and I look at my parents and you know my mom the other day my dad sent me a picture actually a little video because she was on the lawnmower and she was like driving all over the freaking place and my dad was chasing after her and uh and it was just so innocent and they were laughing like crazy like so innocent in the joy so innocent in the love we're really, we start out innocent. We put all these overlays and as life takes us the full circle, we return to that innocence, to that purity as we offer our love, as we get beyond self. And we recognize that relationship is a spiritual path with such depth for us to grow, to evolve us. It's not the only path, but to share it with a beloved, it's, it's stunning, it's, it's beautiful, it's unexpected, it's rich. This is a soul's journey. This is this life. Never mind our relationships are here to, we're here to grow. And watching the cycles of life, it's so kind and everyone has its challenges and its gifts. It's challenges and its gifts. Why to carve us? When people talk about our heart breaking, it's to open. Our heart breaks so we open, so we experience more, so we feel more so we can offer more. I think of this, it has been the wildest, most beautiful, most like, unexpected journey, and it continues. And now we're parents and love can look so different than you expect. And when your heart is open and there's sincerity, life can surprise you. Don't take anything for granted, least of all the love of your life. Life is too short not to grow and give. Life is too short to be just about ourselves. There's no greater gift than to fall into the stage of love called utter devotion. I am devoted to this woman. I don't just love her. I would live for her, I'd die for her. In the meantime, as long as I get to live, I live fully for her. And that makes me feel alive. And this is our wish for you that you may experience all the seasons of life in your relationship, not cut it short.